So my entire life, I've always been told that carp are trash fish. And I've never really questioned it. I've just always believed it. Um, that being said, I've never eaten a carp myself. And I feel like I can't go around saying that carp are trash fish if I've never tried eating it myself. So as much as I don't really love the idea of eating carp, I am going to, um, or at least the objective of today is to go out and catch a carp and cook it and see if it really is like that much worse than other fish. So ideally what would happen today is I catch a medium to small sized carp and I'm not planning on like explaining how to fillet carp because I haven't really learned that yet. I haven't done it yet. Um, so I'm just going to kind of learn myself uh, what the anatomy of a carp is as far as like dressing it out and then um, I'm, I'm not gonna take like the meat from the entire fish because I don't foresee myself uh, feasting on like an entire carp but I just want to take like a few little pieces of meat and um, cook, up, cook them up with some really simple spices like salt and pepper and butter uh, but nothing nothing that's gonna kind of uh, take away from the taste of the actual fish because I want to see uh, what the meat tastes like. I don't really want to prepare a meal with the intention of like eating something really tasty but I just want to I just want to see what the fish tastes like. So that's kind of um, the objective of today and what I, I want to see happen but really it's all gonna depend on if we even catch a carp or not. I just saw my line right well, it's like the smallest carp I've ever caught in this stream. It's only like eight inches long. Oh, about the same size as that other one. It's not a mirror carp though this time. That's really interesting. The, the carp that I catch here are usually around 20 inches at least. So it's kind of funny that we're catching them so small the day that we want to eat them. I kept this one because it's uh, a mirror carp and it should be easier to prepare. Uh, it doesn't have as many scales and the skin isn't as tough. So um, we're going to try this one out. There's a big one right there down in the river. So. Yeah, do you see that giant one? Oh, there's two. Oh, well, no, there's like four. There's a bunch. Oh. Okay, let's go get one of those big ones. Oh. Here. I switched it. Oh, you switched it? Okay. Yeah, it's definitely better size. Here, Parker. Oh, yeah, I should probably reel it. Yeah. All right. Well, that's a good eater size. Okay. There's our next carp. This is a pretty good eater size. This is what I was wanting to get. It's not like really big, but um, just kind of medium size and I think it should be a little more mild of a taste. Okay. Me and Parker have both uh, got a fish at the same time. Yeah, we both got one. <laughs> Man, this thing is fighting hard. They're both small. Yeah, they're both. Actually, these ones might be better eater size than the last one we caught. There we go. Two carp, two fishermen. Did those glasses help, Parker? Yeah, I really did. Okay. So, this is the one we're really going to test out for eating. It's pretty fat, and that's the exact size I wanted to get. So, it should be... A really good eater. As far as carp go, it's actually quite clean and pretty. I chose this stream because um, of all the places that we could eat carp, this is one of the cleaner areas. Okay, we got this guy resting in the snow, keeping him fresh. So we're gonna stay here a little longer and see if we can just get some big fish just for fun. We saw some probably 30 inches in there. So. Big one. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's a, that's one of the big ones that we're looking for, Carson. Okay, uh, it looks like you're okay. So you that's don't want to. Yeah. You can do it because I. No, no, I want you to get it. 
Um, so, yeah, you don't want to loosen your line, but you also don't want it to break. Okay, now it's free, so reel in a little bit. Perfect, perfect. Nice, keep reeling in. Keep tension on the line. You're doing just perfect right now. This this looks like a really big one, so he's probably going to take off again once he comes close. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, man, Carson. Oh, man. <laughs> That's one of the big ones that you're looking at. I think your drag is just perfect right now. So that should allow you to... Uh, that should allow for the line not to break. Okay, Carson, why don't you walk backwards over here because we're gonna wanna, we wanna land him where it's more shallow. We don't even have a net. I didn't even think about that. But, okay. <laughs> oh man, look at that thing. Okay, he's... That drag still. Nice one, Carson. Is that the biggest fish you've ever caught? I don't know. Okay. Look at that thing. Okay. All right. without a net. That's massive. Just here. <laughs> All right. There we go. Carson, you should be the one holding this up. You're the one that got it. You want to hold it? <laughs> Look at that. Nice job, Carson. Thanks. This is Carson's biggest carp ever. So we decided to put it on the board and measure it, and it's right at 29 inches. So look at that thing. Do you want to let it go, Carson, or do you want me to let it go? You can let it go. Okay. All right. Let's see you, buddy. Okay, we caught a lot of carp, some big ones and some small ones, and these are the two that we decided to eat. And so we've got one little mirror carp and one medium size common carp. And the reason I kept both of these is first I want to see if there's a, a taste difference in the size of the fish. And then also I kept the, the little mirror carp because um, I, I just wanted to see, I, I'd prefer um, cleaning it being a much easier with the few scales that the mirror carp have in comparison to the common carp. So I'm going to flay these up and then we'll take them home and cook them up. My thought is, I've never done this with, with carp before, so I really don't know the most effective way, but I'm gonna try to just uh, fillet it like I would a trout, and then flip it and then take the skin off. Um, but this is all kind of an experiment, so we'll see how that goes. I'm hit, I am hitting a lot of bones, which that's something I've heard about carp is that they've got lots of bones. My plan is to, ooh, look at all those eggs. My plan is to, to cook the fish and then just kind of pick the bones out. But you can see that's why carp are so effective at reproducing. They've got so many eggs. And... Okay, so now I'm just gonna ride right along that skin. Okay, so I've got one little fillet there. So I just got a few chunks of meat off of that last one. Like I said, I'm not trying to be real effective in doing this. I'm just trying to get um, enough to taste the fish. But I'm a little more excited about actually eating this small one. 
Um, since there's so few scales on it and it's mostly skin, I'm just gonna scale it because there's literally only like 10, 15 scales on it. Um, and then I'll cook this just with the, the meat, like, or sorry, with the skin on it, um, and then just pull the skin off. Because these fish, <laughs> I can understand why people don't like preparing them because they're much harder to cut around than um, other fish I've dealt with. But Okay, so we've got a few pieces of carp now, and they're not pretty by any means. I just kind of quickly scraped a few pieces off. But like I've said a few times, uh, the purpose of this was just to get a taste for the fish. So um, I didn't want to gorge on the entire thing. So I didn't take all of the meat off of it, um, but just a few little pieces that uh, we'll try to cook up and see how it tastes. Okay, so in some future day, I'll probably do a video where I actually know what I'm doing with the carp and like flay it the right way. I know I probably didn't do it the right way by any means. Okay, so these two pieces are the mirror carp, and they actually have a really gray appearance compared to the, the common carp meat, which actually to me looks a lot better, but um, we'll cook it and see if there's a difference in taste or if they kind of just taste the same. So I just put a, a few slabs of butter down, and then I'm just going to put each fillet on top of the butter. So the only spices I'm going to use today are just the salt and pepper, just so it's not super bland. But um, I'm not going to put any special spices on, just to taste the, the, the fish. Definitely doesn't smell like trout meat. <laughs> yeah, it smells carpish. Definitely not my best cooking performance. Look, we got the oven up to 350, and I'm just going to put it in there for about 10 minutes. Okay, just pull it out of the oven. Doesn't look super appetizing, but we will tr give it a try. There it goes, here's the first bite. There, are, because of how I filleted it, there are a lot of bones. Um, but here it goes. Hmm. It's like, it's not bad, It's but it's like definitely a weird taste. Like it's not like other fish I've tasted. It's uh, Okay, that one was bad. <laughs> that one was not very good. <laughs> that first bite was like, it had a really distinct flavor though. I don't really even know how to describe it. Um, yeah, Parker, do you want to try it? Sure. It's not my favorite fish, but it's not bad. I can see how people would eat this. What was that? Okay, here goes Parker. <laughs> Click. <laughs> <laughs> it's like chicken that's not cooked all the way. Well, I've never been on a video before. <laughs> Watch out for the bones there, Dad. Fine. Yeah, it's really like, it's just kind of, I mean, and we couldn't have asked for much more because we didn't season it real nice, but yeah. it just kind of tastes like fish, huh? No problem at all. Yeah. I could eat a whole carp. Yeah. So in the end, the carp really wasn't that bad. Um, I think if we were to really dress it up nice, uh, prepare it with like vegetables and maybe even deep fried or something, it would actually be a, a really pleasant fish to eat. But um, it kind of just tasted like fish. The, I mean, really nothing, nothing crazy about it. Okay, well, I would say today was a wonderful success. We, we caught lots of carp. We caught the sizes we wanted. Uh, we were able to cook it up, and I was pleasantly surprised how well it tasted. It it definitely wasn't my favorite fish. Like, fish can taste a lot better than what we had today, but um, I think if I were to dress that fish up um, with some yummy spices and put some good ingredients with it, maybe make, uh, make fish tacos or something, put a little more effort into like dressing it up well, um, you know, with like the thicker fillets, I could see carp actually tasting really good. So thanks for watching the video. That was a fun, uh, fun one for me to make, and we will see you on the next one.